Hey there, Tim and Air Tuma back at you. Have you ever needed to check temperature or uh, see if something's overheating? Well, I've got a great comparison for you today. This is the Klein Tools TI-222 thermal imaging camera. And then this is the Seek Compact thermal imaging camera. I borrowed this one from my coworker Joe. Both of these are really, really good cameras. And one, the Seek Compact Thermal. Uh, it comes in a it comes in a case that's I don't believe uh, it's waterproof, but the this is a little older version of the camera, so I believe the new new ones. And I'll put a link to. Uh, I don't believe you can get this one anymore, but they do make a new version of this, and the the case actually seals a lot better than than this one here this one is it isn't I don't believe is this I don't believe this one here is uh, waterproof it may be close to it but it's got a really really nice case on the on the seek version of this like I said this came from I borrowed this from my co-worker Joe so I appreciate you Joe and then purchased this not too long ago and this is the Klein tools TI-222 thermal imaging camera and this thing is fantastic it also has some some things I like about it and some things I I, I don't like about it and I'll, I'll explain to you why first off these are both great cameras I've used these both on the same components and stuff like that and I found out that I really like the case on the seek version and they're about the same price and I'll put that stuff up in the description but so I like the case on the seek model but I don't really care for the case on the Klein model because it's almost looks like a kind of like a tiny DeWalt case and it it does snap together and I do like that portion and it does have a little carabiner which I actually wouldn't trust this to be on my belt because um, the plastic in here is really really kind of chintzy and so for that reason I don't really care about this care this about this case too much very very cheap I believe Klein can actually make something a lot better I'm probably just going to take this carabiner off because I don't plan on hooking this up to my belt loop or anything like that but it does fit in there really well and you do actually I, I don't need this for the Klein version but I'll explain to you why it's needed for the Seek version but you can actually put you put it down in here don't need this but if you wanted to use one it'll actually fit in the case if you put it in between these two little deals right here so it's kinda kinda hard to get in there but uh, you don't really need it for this one the adapter and this is for iPhone both of these are for iOS the the reason you need it for the seek version is you can't actually hook this up if I hook this up to my phone with the OtterBox case in it it actually would doesn't work and that's that's kind of a it's not a deal breaker but I'll leave a link to these I think there's like two for seven dollars or something on Amazon I'll leave a link to that and then you can actually take this and I put it in this way because I usually use the camera face them backwards like that and see it's already popped up on my camera I'm gonna put in my code so bear with me and you allow the th seek thermal camera and so now the camera is on this one has an adjustable lens which is nice the first time you add this to your phone it'll actually pop up on the deal and then I'll put preferences so now they have they have 10 on the seek version you have 10 different screens you can use okay so now I've got full screen I'll go back to camera and go prism this is Tyrion iron amber high high low red hot and see and it'll tell you where the center of the if you can see that right in the center it says 75 right now if I put my hand there it shows 91 and then show you the pot, hot part of my my hand 
and you, there's a ton of uses for these type of cameras so you can literally switches and those are the light switches I have right now I'm actually taking this is my iPhone and I've got it in spectra mode right now and since the camera is right here it's actually facing at these two light switches and then you got the light switch down here so I'll take a camera of that one so I'm aiming it towards that one right now so you can see it's not near as hot as the other one and it got the wall right next to it in the hottest portion so then you go up here to these and these seem to be a little hot, hotter it gives you the hot spot and what's nice is if you get that hot spot right in the center uh, where you can actually see the figure you can see it's somewhere around 82 degrees I get it in the center that's about 87 degrees this now I'm checking my breakers in my house so you can use that to check those and if you put it right in the center you see I'm checking my breakers if I put it right in the center it will say 86 87 degrees which is about normal if you're looking for specific things and you see you can see on my breakers and the typical temperature of them if I put it right in the red part which is the hottest one it's about 87 88 degrees you can check inside walls to see if you have any kind of uh, rodents or anything in your walls you can actually look through it'll kind of sense through sheetrock which is pretty nice this is my water heater and kind of gives you an idea if you go right towards the this is insulated so it may not show as much but then you look through the walls and you can see it's blue down there there's air going through there the main difference on this one here uh, is you have to use the adapter if you have an I, iPhone with the OtterBox case now see this I clean my phone this one does not need the uh, the piece that goes in the bottom of the phone uh, lightning cable is actually a bit taller you can see that so uh, when you put this one in I also face it towards the front you can do it either way so I put that on there and you hit allow that's I have it set on the what they call rainbow mode um, and so that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm looking at now let me do the same kind of walk around the light switches and stuff I like the rainbow mode. there's there's a couple other um, colors and I'll show you why but then if I go over sorry I hit my hand over the light switches I like this one because that's these switches right there and you see it's showing 89 87 95 it's a little more responsive the Kalein one is a little more responsive plus it's a newer version and uh, so if I check the light switches down here that's these right here and I have one of them set up as a timer so it has some LEDs in it kind of gives you an idea you just kind of move the center of the screen around which is the actual center of the of the camera you can actually see the floor I didn't have the camera I was starting to look so you can see what I mean this is a door and it goes to the corner and then there's wall you can still kind of see that's why I like the uh, the spectra mode and let me do my breakers again this is really good for electrical stuff but there like I said there's tons of other uses and so you can literally check just about anything and you can see I got most of the breakers are around 88 to 89 degrees pretty close to the other one they're both really really good tools I just like the the fact that with the OtterBox case I have a bad real bad habit of dropping my phone so I always got to have an OtterBox case a protector over the screen and you can kind of see there do this one hand is well I set down the camera here now I've got to face at the breakers again. 
And if I do like this, and you go to go to settings, and then you go down here to uh, iron bow and go back, go back, and it's got a red and a purple issue. This one's also good as well. And it's got a high temperature alarm of 752 degrees and a low temperature alarm of negative four degrees Fahrenheit. And then it also switches, you can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, if that's what you're into. And then uh, you can go center temperature, high low temperature crosshairs, temperature bar, temper, uh, differential temperature, touch screen, shutter sounds, alarm sounds, and then time lapse setting. You can do time lapse as well on here, which is pretty nice. And then you got grayscale. But I, I personally like the rainbow myself and just like the colors better. And like I said, if you are holding up there, you get to see, check, and you can. I have some other footage. I'll try to add it on here. Um, I, w I was checking some motors and some bearings at work the other day. And I actually found a fan bearing that was, uh, one was 40 degrees hotter than the other one. So obviously the bearing was going out uh, even after it was greased. So you can literally check inside walls to see if you have any kind of activity, animal activity. Tons and tons of uses for the uh, thermal imaging camera. Front. back. I'm going to take some footage with a thermal imager and see if any of these doors are leaking air.